Hello everybody of YouTube. This is going to be part one of a multiple part video on how a power transformer works. Now, here I have drawn a uh, pretty good diagram here of how a power transformer works, and I will explain this in a minute. First of all, we have to understand what is a power transformer. A power transformer is an electrical component that transforms or steps up or steps down voltage. Now how this works is there's windings, also known as coils, inside a, a uh, soft iron core inside the middle of this transformer. And you can see the two windings here are covered by insulation. One of the windings, which is the input winding, which is right here, is the primary winding. The primary winding takes the voltage that is going into the transformer. The other winding is the output winding, or secondary winding. The secondary winding is the winding that converts that voltage and outputs it from the transformer. So this is basically a pretty basic uh, power transformer here. I believe this puts out 12 volts. Now, on to my diagram. Now, this takes a lot of mathematic skills to understand how this works. Now, how this works exactly is, you have your primary winding and your secondary. And you have your iron core. So, basically what happens is you have your iron core here, you have your primary winding, which has 1,200 turns, and I'm just using this for an example. Your secondary has 120 turns on the secondary winding. Now, I wanted to know if someone could explain to me what voltage is on the output, because I know what voltage is on the output, but this takes a lot of mathematics skills to understand how you calculate the voltage. So the equation here you have the secondary voltage, which is represented by Vs, the primary voltage, Vp, secondary turns, Vs, primary turns, or no, sorry, Ns for secondary turns, primary turns, Np. So the equation you have to know to figure this out would be Vs equals Vp times Ns slash Np. So there's your mathematical equation right there to figure this out. So basically, the volts that are going into this primary winding are 24 volts. Oh no, sorry, 240 volts are connecting to this primary winding of this transformer. So the voltage is 240 volts, which is 100, 120 to 1,200, equals 240 volts times 1 ones out of 10. So what would be the output voltage? The output voltage would be 24 volts would be on the output because the transformer works by the ratio of turns in the primary winding and the secondary winding between the iron core. A power transformer such as this can only operate on alternating current or AC. The reason this can only operate on alternating current or AC is because it relies on the magnetic fields inside the transformer to produce the right voltage. And that will not work on direct current or DC, so it has to be AC. All transformers run on alternating current. So again, this is just basically how a basic transformer would work. Primary winding, secondary. Secondary is the output, primary is the input. And the, both the copper wire, or the windings, the, the wire that makes up the actual quote-unquote winding, is on a metal, sorry, not metal, but an iron core. It's separated by an iron core. Because if you look at this transformer, you can see the, the windings in there. Here's the two windings, primary, secondary. Here's the primary with the black wires. Secondary's right here. Here's the secondary outputs right there. And they're separated inside here by an iron core. And they have insulation on them. So you can see how a transformer would work like this. So that's basically a quick explanation of how a power transformer works. So again, I'll just give you the equation here. So here's what you have to do to figure out the output voltage. So the output voltage is equal to 24 volts. So 24 volts, so the reason it has to do is because of the ratio of turns. Because it has to do with the ratio of turns on the output. So right now I'm going to grab my marker here. Let me open it. Let me put the camera down for a second. Let me open my marker and I'll go ahead and write. So this is our variable, or x. So x equals 24 volts, 24 volts 
AC on the output. So 24 volts alternating current on the output. So output, which is the secondary winding. So there you go, simple as that. So you just have your iron core, your two windings, and you just got to calculate this equation to figure out what the output voltage would be. Now, you have the equation, this is what the symbols represent in the equation here. So here is basically what you do to calculate transformer voltage. You know, this is 24 volts on the output. And I actually have proof right here on this website right here, which actually says right here what the output would be, 24 volts. So I just googled that right now just to prove my theory that I'm correct on the output voltage. And now this is going to be a multiple part video, so this is going to be part one. So right now I'm going to go ahead and conclude part one of how a power transformer works. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can email me at rustyneonsign at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching part one of the multiple part video and keep a lookout uh, pretty soon for the follow-up to this video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.